Hey everyone, uh, so this video will be my Totally Toy Tuesday one. It is a 90s Barbie haul. Um, the first part of it is a bunch of Barbies that I picked up this past weekend at a church basement uh, sale here in Vancouver. Um, it was really cool. There was a lot of cool stuff there. The way that the whole thing was set up was really awesome. My friend and I actually got a tip off from a client of hers from our salon and told she told us that... Um, someone there was bringing in basically their, all of their kids' Barbies from the 90s. So, or actually, we didn't even know what time era they were going to be from, if they were, like, older or if they were kind of, like, you know, more, like, more recent. And I was hoping that they were going to be from the 90s, and they were, and it was awesome. I basically went up to the table and just, like, went like this into a bag. Um, I picked up basically most of the dolls from the 90s that I really, really wanted, and... Um, I think I kind of talked about it in the video as well, so sorry if I'm, like, repeating myself. Um, yeah, I was really excited about them. Um, I got that awesome, like, a big awesome playset kind of thing, and, um, like, a lot of the dolls um, I was just going to end up buying on eBay. I might still do that because I kind of want them in the box because I love the way that the boxes look and, like, the artwork and stuff for them. So yeah, the first part of it is that haul, and then the second part of it is kind of like a collective haul with another Barbie that I bought on eBay a while ago, which I've kind of told you guys about before. Um, yeah, if you guys know any of the information about these Barbies or can direct me to a site that helps I do identification, that would be awesome. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I love when you guys comment. That's really cool. I try and answer them like I want to answer them back. So um yeah if you guys want more more in-depth uh kind of like reviews of any of the stuff in the video also let me know and um i think that's basically it uh follow me on instagram if you want to see more pictures at too trendy for life and i will see you guys soon for my next video bye all right so first up in my uh 90s barbie haul um i'm gonna start with these ones, um, okay, so here's the deal. I have this book, which is right here, and I bought this a while ago down in the States. You cannot buy these in Canada. I don't think they, I got it at Barnes and Nobles down in Washington, and, um, okay, Barbie doll community, it seems like they don't have like a really good resource website that I could find at least um like the My Little Pony they have Dream Valley which has like every single pony in it and it's an amazing resource um to have to like find information out about My Little Ponies I understand that Barbies there's like a million times more my, than My Little Pony so I get creating a database for that would be like very hard but it's hard for me to find the names of a lot of these dolls so um yeah with that, um, I'll just kind of go in the order that they ought, that they have them here. Uh, the first one is Ski Fun Barbie from 1991, and here she is. Here's a close-up of her face. Hopefully, they. Um, the thing that I really like about like these next two bar Barbies is that they use this pattern um, on their fabric a lot. So. Her outfit is um, a one-piece ski suit, like that. She has a little ski tag. It's very hot pink with gold detailing and like kind of this like weird tie-dye effect. Um, her hair is basically in perfect condition with like this. Um, the elastic is kind of sorry, you guys. The elastic is kind of like broken apart because this person obviously like never played with their dolls ever. So that's her. She's really pretty. And she has these stud earrings. Uh, the next one is actually one that I had when I was little and I've been meaning to find. Um, and I was going to buy her on eBay, brand new in box, for like $60 but with the shipping. But I found her out of the box. So it's the Gymnast Barbie from 1994. And she has on her shoes and socks, which is pretty cool. And she comes with her medal. And then she also has a ribbon that goes throughout her braid. The bottom part of this came out. This is a two-piece bodysuit. And it has that same pattern that the other doll had. So that is a close-up of her face. There you go. 
Um, the next one, I have no idea. I, like, I remember seeing this doll, but I don't know who it is and I can't find her online at all. So if you know which doll this is, please let me know in the comments and I will be very happy. So here she is. Um, she's also very pretty and she has crimped hair, a lot of it, which is in excellent condition with like a half up bangs and these big silver hoops. And then she's wearing this outfit, which is kind of like a gold material. Her arms are like, they snap. So I feel like she came with like a microphone or something. I'm not hundred percent sure. Like at one point, I kind of remember seeing it on the commercial. Um, she turns and then she has legs that bend fully. So that's kind of cool. And she's wearing this like crop top and hot pink shorts with suspenders. So very on trend for right now with like our 90s revival. And she still has her shoes on, which are these little black flats. So that is her. Next up, we have a Barbie that looks like she is permanently high on ketamine. It is the Twinkle Eyed Barbie with this magnificent blowout, which I wish that I had a wig that looked like this. I would just wear that every day. I wouldn't even care. And she has this silver metallic mini dress on, which I believe in the, like, when she's new. She also had, like, a skirt that attached to it because there is a button right there for, like, a flowy piece to attach to. And she has these kind of, like, rose hint of like rose color to her earrings that are kind of like molded diamonds and then she has these little jewels in her eyes she's pretty and she's very like 90s glamour again she's not in my book so i think that she's from like 92 or 93 um but yeah so if anyone can tell me what year she came out that would be awesome so she's really pretty and I like her hair. I wish that, like, her hair's in good condition. It's obviously just from, like, time and being in a box forever. Um, the next two, their hair is kind of, like, ratchet, but their hair's really long, so it makes sense. I believe that this one is Hollywood Hair Barbie. Um, I remember my friend had her. She's surprisingly not in the book, but I feel like this doll was very, very popular. Um, so that's her face. She has these gold dangly earrings and her like kind of like golden tinged blonde hair. She has like this bomber on and then this one piece suit underneath with a skirt and it says Hollywood all over it. So I'm guessing that she is the Hollywood Barbie and her hair is super long. I'm gonna have to clean or like not wash her hair but like kind of like figure out how to make it look a little bit nicer than that it, than it is right now. And yeah, so that's her. And then the last doll is, um, I believe it's Totally Hair Barbie, who came with her magic, or not magic, but like a tube of like Dep uh, gel. So she has like a lot of crimped hair and it's in kind of a big mess with this like insane mini skirt that's very like poochy-esque kind of, and her like graphic triangle earrings and this big thing in her hair. So those are all the dolls that I got. And um, I also managed to score something super awesome. So just one second. So I also got this, um, which is the big horse trailer. And I believe this came out in probably like 94, 95, maybe a little bit earlier than that. But um, the horse that it came with was um, Western, like the Western Star Horse, and she has a lot of her original accessories. I know that that's not the horse that this came with. And then another horse, which I think did come with this set, but I'm not 100% sure, because I can't find it in the book or anything. Um, it has all these great little details, like this. There's a bed that pops in there, and then there's like... Um, like this awning that comes out that kind of attaches to there, which is really cool. And then there's a whole bunch of like little compartments and stuff in here that I can go and do like a full on, like in-depth look at this thing in another video if you guys want me to do that. So just comment that you want to see that and I will do a video on it. Um, yeah, that was my haul. All of this stuff only cost me 30 bucks, which I think is amazing. And I got a lot of the dolls that I really wanted. So um, I hope you guys like this. All right, so this Barbie I got a while ago um, in 
<laughs> off of eBay and she's brand new in box. This was one of the first Barbies that I ever got so I really wanted to get her brand new in box because she's such a pretty doll. Um, her face is gorgeous. I love it and she has those awesome cowboy earrings. Um, this cost me, I believe she was like $40 including shipping so you know like not super cheap but shipping to Canada costs a lot of money. The, it came so quickly. Um, it was pretty awesome. So the box is in like pretty decent condition. Uh, her hat's loose in the bottom, but that's okay. So she comes with all of her accessories. Um, I believe that her hat probably went up here, but it fell down. So what she's wearing is this like blue Western style cowgirl jacket with fringe and kind of like embroidered, full embroidered detailing on the top. And then she's wearing this, um, kind of like bustier, which this part is the only part with this, uh, what's it called, um, pattern on it. And then the other side is kind of just like regular uh, fabric. And then she also has this silver mini skirt on with this belt that is detachable and it has fringe all over it. And then the cool thing about this is that her boots have little spurs on it. And when you dip them in this ink pad, um, you can roll them around and uh, make this B pattern. So that's pretty cool. Stamp a trail of bees with our boots and glitter and trail sparkles <laughs> so that's her um i love her she's super pretty definitely one of my favorite barbies ever um i had the horse too when i was little and i loved it i still have the horse um so that's her kind of like what she looks like out of box and there's tara lynn and ken um so yeah, that's her. Um, when I went to the sale where I got all of the other dolls from, they actually had this one out of box and my friend bought her, um, which is really cool. And yeah, so that's her. I've been waiting a while to show her to you and I feel like it was worth the wait. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.